Hey there, welcome to another Level Up Games Shop Stock Tour. Show you a few of the goodies we've got in today, different from our normal One Minute Wonders and um, let's Games play we some love play and everything. We don't do Let's Plays, but we could well, we do. do. We could do. We don't yeah. play enough. No. <laughs> it's too busy running this place. Right, what have we got? We have got this lovely box to Mega Drive to the Mega 6 collection. You know more about that one, Alex? Yep, Sega Soccer Columns, Super Monaco GP, boring. Uh, Revenge of Shinobi, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Streets of Rage, all in one cartridge. Fantastic set to pick up a whole load of interesting games in. I um, don't often see that one boxed either, so it's actually nice to see a complete box in store. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh, Super Mario 64 for the N64, the outer sleeve edition, obviously comes with the game. Really lovely condition, really complete. Only problem is the water yeah. damage on the back. A little bit of water damage. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad, but still enough. So if anyone's interested, let us know. It's very nice and very clean. Speaking of limited edition box sets, We've got the FIFA International Soccer SNES set. A um, little bit odd this one. It's never released in the UK. Mm. This is the Irish version. Yeah. Um, Ireland and Spain got this. And if it was a Spanish one, you'd have a whole lot of Spanish text on the side here saying this. Por favor, Spanish game. I don't speak Spanish, sorry. Um, game, so here we have the Irish version of it. Complete, again, very nice and tidy. Very nice click console on the inside as well. Righto, let's go here. Um, another box to save a Saturn, complete. Uh, good console, clean, works brilliantly, quite scruffy box, but it's still nice to have for anyone that might be thinking about getting their first Sega Saturn. Not really much to say on that one. <laughs> Do you want to talk about that one? Because <coughs> yes. we know about the text in the back. Right, sealed, factory sealed, Final Fantasy Origins. Yeah. However, well, Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Spanish language on the uh, the game and the manual. Um, so, does it have English options? Like? <clears throat> yes. Uh, I cannot remember. Yes, the game language is English with uh, Spanish subtitles. I'm reading. I'm badly translating this from the back of the box. <laughs> Um, so, yep, for uh, a sealed collector, this might be quite fun. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Up. Even ones that are fully in English that are sealed don't go for that much. So, obviously, this will be reduced a fair amount because of the Spanish text. Oh. Right. Disc only. This has been sold up for three dirty dwarfs for the Sega Saturn. Now, boxed complete with manual in good condition generally goes for anywhere between 50 to 100 pounds, I suppose it depends on how lucky you are. It's actually quite a fun game, it's all set about three, well about four children, that are actually in a government facility and they are playing a tabletop RPG. They then get taken away by the government and the dwarfs come out of the game to save them. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's about a 20 minute cartoon at the beginning explaining what's going on. We have a reproduction box yeah. for it, not the original box, folks. Which is why it's being sold as disc only. But, uh, rather tied, not rather nicely done. Yeah. But still reproduced. And we've actually got, I haven't got them here with me, we've actually got a bunch of other Sega Saturn games. Some good titles as well that are also in reproduction boxes that will be sold as disc only. Jewel being one of them, if anyone wants a copy of that disc only. Righto. Um, my jewelry's mask. One to Zelda's. Lovely and clean by me. Really, really tidy example. Really tidy examples. Very little to say about this. Everyone knows Majora's Mask on the N64, or at least on the 3DS with the new remake. True. Um, it's a beauty, basically. There we go, standard fare. Co nice. Well, collector's quality version. Well, collector's quality version, yeah. Right, well, Zelda, stay on the Zelda. There you go, you can do that one. Ooh. Also, of the remit of 3D remakes, but this is the one that started it all mm -hmm. on the SNES. Uh, Link to the Past. Um, we've got it in one of the Sentinel um, clear boxes for it. This is complete. It does not have the secrets book, so it's oh. not that complete. It's, it's got the map, but it doesn't have the secrets book. Okay. Um, Complete-ish. 
Very nice and tidy all round though. Uh, Some scuffing, not not overly collector's worthy, but still nice to have. Um, carrying on with Zelda. Uh, it's sequel, Link Between Worlds. Um, sealed, including the sealed treasure chest. And the huge poster. Yeah, the poster's at the back, but yeah. the poster does come in its protective case as well. And the original box. Uh, we don't have the download code that you would have got from game or wherever it was from that you originally yeah, yeah, had from with game. This. That would have been Zelda DX, I believe. Yep, yeah, uh, that's not here, but that would have been with the original purchase. Right, another nice RPG for the Super Nintendo is Lagoon. Very interesting little RPG. Don't often see it here, cart only or boxed. Um, it looks rather nice. Uh, slightly scruffy, but still just a nice game to play on the Super Nintendo if anyone fancies one. Earthworm Jim 2, cart only. Sorry, and Earthworm Jim 1, the Mega Drive. Yay! Competing systems. I'm, I'm better than you are. <laughs> it's true. Depends who you ask, really. Mega Drive's better for Earthworm Jim. That's uh, We've got two of these in, actually, unboxed. A couple of nice um, Pikachu Game Boys here, both complete with their backing, which is usually the first part to fall off of a Game Boy, especially these ones. You see these quite often crop up online, but most of the time they do not have their backing. Um, staying on the handhelds for a moment, we've got a couple of the uh, original Nintendo Game & Watch in the form of Parachute and Bomb Sweeper. Mm -hmm. uh, both really, really tidy examples with the original backings. Um, Bomb Sweeper, one of the flip ones. Really nice and clean. Still got the uh, cellophane on the outer. Yeah, that's not the label peeling, that's actually the protective cellophane there. So, tidy. Right, a couple of interesting things. Boxed in 64 expansion pack, got all the innards with it. Never seen one of these before. An official AV cable for the Nintendo, complete with box. We knew they existed, but yes. never actually had one in store physically. And so we've got a few of these unboxed, but we've never actually seen the box before. So it's actually quite an interesting thing to have in. But something else that's interesting. Resealed Super Nintendo pad, official Super Nintendo pad. Now, because it's been resealed, obviously we have no idea what the condition of the pad is like. But just from feeling the box, it does feel as though it's got all the cardboard innards with it. So, and considering how clean it is, I'm very inclined to sit, think that this was actually brand new when it was resealed by another company, such as Curry's or someone like that. Yeah, at the time it would have been HMV or Electronics Boutique yeah. who had these in stock, and it's it's one of their shrink wrap machines. I mean, basically, if you actually can actually see, I'm not sure because of the lighting, um, it doesn't even look as though the box has been opened, so we are assuming this was shrink wrapped from brand new. Uh, back to the Mega Drive. Cool. There you go. Turtles, da, da, da. Hopestone Heist, for you fans of Turtles in Time, this is the Mega Drive version I think we put that on a of... previous video as well. Yeah, but this, this is, this is this, no, this is another copy. Oh, is it? Cool. Yeah. We've had this before, as some of you may remember from a previous video, um, and now we have it again. Hello. Uh, I believe this one a is a lot cleaner. The cover of the manual has come away from the spine, but it is whole and lovely and tidy overall, Jen. Mega Drive, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, complete with manual. Really tidy, really shiny. Really <laughs> bloody hard. Really hard. But then again, games were not forgiving back then no. at all. No. But that's the way we like them. We like a challenge. Cool. A couple of interesting figures now. Kingdom Hearts Volume 2 Cloud. Are these sealed? They are sealed. They Cloud are sealed. and Sephiroth. Now, these are actually on commission for a friend of ours. So, um, they've been here for a couple of weeks now, something yeah. like that. So if anyone is actually interested, please get in touch, because they are very, very nice figures. Really tidy. And speaking, well, speaking of, I only actually picked up this game for the PS3 for us to play the other day, oh, didn't oh, I? Yeah, you did. <clears throat> uh, this is just the figure, not the game. Mm -hmm. War of the North collector's edition. So you've got the great big golem um, ogre with fighting dwarves. Uh, game not included, but figure available for sale. Cool. And I believe that is it. For now. For now. So, uh, thank you and see you soon. Bye. Bye.